those uh, all those years that I've been in practice. Um, actually, I have a, a private practice here in Brazil where I do exclusively orthodontic treatment in adults and young adult patients. I'm an orthodontic specialist when, uh, <clears throat> when I started. And for those who doesn't know me, I'm Wesley Oliveira. And uh, so we're going to discuss more about, uh, you're going to focus more about the mechanical aspect of the correction of a deep bite rather than uh, spending time on its etiology. And deep bite or deep overbite, they really, they mean the same thing really. And it can be defined by the overlap of the upper incisors over the lower incisors greater than two or three millimeters. Apati Hay and Nanda like to, they used to classify uh, the deep bite as normal when there is an overlap uh, of uh, the upper incisors over the lower. And when it covers five to 25% of the total, total uh, length ground of the lower incisors, they consider it a, a normal. Uh, when it goes to 25 to 40 percent, they consider it a moderate deep bite, and greater than that, 50 percent or more of, of um, the total length of the uh, lower incisors crown, they consider it a, a severe deep bite. And the deep bite must be uh, be corrected because uh, if we if you leave it untreated, it may cause over the time a uh, crowding on the lower incisors. They also may uh, cause a flaring and the diastomas on the up 